Joined now by sports anchor Kurt Black. Kurt, the camera for Fighting Walleye, got a chance to lift the Bill Salonen Cup last night as SIJHL champions. And as, as uh, hockey fans, how can anybody complain about a series like that? Well, maybe a few people, at least here in Thunder Bay, well, are complaining a little bit. But yeah, no, it was a phenomenal series. As after seven, after a grueling seven-game series that included five one-goal games and a pair of overtimes, the Cam River Fighting Walleye are SIJHL champions. After the Fish prevailed over their local rivals, the Thunder Bay North Stars, and last night's Game 7 from Norwest Arena to capture the franchise's first Bill Salonen Cup in just their second full season. Mike Lang has the story. After finishing first in the SIJHL regular season by seven points, the Fighting Walleye endured a hard-fought series against the North Stars and won the Bill Salonen Cup in Game 7 on home ice, 5-4 to four, the final. It was, came down to just hard work and working through our, uh, our adversities and we just got through it and we won. Let's go! I grew up just 10 minutes down the road and then to think I'm here playing for a championship in North nice. Arena. Let's go! So uh, yeah, no, something Woo! I'll never forget. The Superior League Defenseman of the Year was also the playoff MVP as Jack Cook finished second in postseason goals with 11 and third in points with 19. But Anthony Oviedo had the honors of being the first walleye captain in franchise history to lift the Bill Salonen Cup. It means everything. The sacrifices that we went through this year, it's the best feeling I've ever had in my life. Poofall, Morton, Jack Cook, Jeremy Dunmore had a huge game, but guys like Graham and Doucette really stepped up for us. You know, proud of literally each and every one of them, um, the way that they played and battled through this. As for the North Stars, despite scoring the opening goal of Game 7, consecutive goals by the Walleye in the first and third were just too much to overcome, and the clock ran out on a late attempt at a comeback. So proud of my team. Um, that we gave it our all, 19 games in 35 days. You know what, could have went either way, so you know, congratulations to them and I uh, hope they make our uh, league proud. Next up for the Superior League champion fighting Walleye, a chance to compete against the top junior A teams in the nation at the Centennial Cup. The tournament runs from the 11th until the 21st of May in Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. Mike Lang, TBT Sports.